Well, Gary, a final game of the season, final preview of the season. I guess we could start by, by summarising the season. We could go through it game by game and point bits out. I think this is one of them seasons that could be summed up in just a short few words, couldn't it? Uh, yeah, um, I'd like to draw a line under it uh, and move quickly onwards. You know, it's not um, gone the way we would like it to go, but we've been over that the last few weeks. So um, it's a case of drawing a line under it and then uh, moving forward and ho hoping that uh, a plan can be put in place for, for the club to move forward again. And we have Maidstone, another side that have. Um I guess fallen below our expectations this season and they've thrown a lot of money at trying to stay up as well and they had the managerial change and a lot of changes through their squad this season. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you make of their side going into Saturday's game? Well, there's experience management team um, and, uh, and you know John Steele I've known for a long time, he's excellent at hacking, I've known for a long time, both good guys. Um, as you rightly say, they've changed personnel, um, management side, player-wise, trying to get them out of the position that they're, they're in as well. So, but there's no guarantees in this game, uh, none whatsoever. But um, I'm sure they'd like to finish the season on a high in front of their home fans. And we have finished our our, our home season on, on, on a good high. It was a very good performance and, and a good win against Haven and Waterlooville. Mm -hmm. Uh, how would you assess Monday's game now, looking back at it? Yeah, I think you're right. I thought we played very well. Um, we freshened the team up. We had a lot of energy in it and I thought the way we approached it, especially early on in the game, um, that was the reason why we won it in the end, you know. Uh, but I thought we managed the game in difficult conditions also during the course of the second half. I thought it was a, a good performance. and. Again, just to touch on, at the end of the game, I thought um, our home supporters were excellent. The way they waited and uh, you know the players and the staff applauded them and our supporters applauded the players for their efforts on the day. There's a point made after the game. Do you think that now the shackles were off, that the players could express themselves a little bit more, have that bit more freedom? Well, I think if you, I think all of us have seen the games recently, and there's been an upturn in the performances. We didn't get the uh, the points or the results that um, we were looking for in that spell. But I thought the performances recently have been good, and you win a game, and everybody will come out with their own opinion of why that's happened. You know, the shackles are off; they look more relaxed. Blah 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 blah. But I just felt over the the last, you know. I don't know, maybe seven, eight games, I think we've played well. But just haven't managed to get that points return in the end, have Which they? is all important, because it's a results-based business and, um, you know, you need to pick up points. And you saw uh, Matt McClaw came in, didn't he? he had a very good game. Mm -hmm. He's been largely in and out of the squad all season, hasn't he? Um, like you say about that freshness, was it good to get that freshness in the side? Yes, it was, yeah. We needed to after um, the Dover game, that was a... Another difficult game in terms of conditions as well. Um, Matt, he played very well on the day. He's been unfortunate this year. He's He's been in and out of the side, as you say. He's picked up injuries at the wrong times, but it's been the story of the season, isn't it? Injuries, so... Um, but on that showing, uh, he's done very well. Do you think the club going forward are well prepared for National League South? Um, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I think, uh, as I've touched on already, a uh, plan needs to be put in place. Um, you know, decisions need to be made. So, uh, and I mean across the board, you know, from, you know, everybody at the club, you know, staff wise, player wise, uh, until that's uh, been resolved, we're not, we're not to know what the, the future uh, holds really. And of that league, you. You haven't managed in it before, but you know some of the managers in that league and some of the clubs, and you may have seen some of them play this season as well. Mm -hmm. It's it's not as uh, easy as it looks, is it, to get out of that? Oh, no, it's a tough. The national league's a tough league, um, but the the national south is a, a tough league. Also, it's not it's not a league where you think uh, it's going to be easy or anything like that. You know, um, it's a tough, tough league. So. Um, It'll be, it'll be interesting really because we need to bounce back straight away um, and that's why planning is very important now. And Torquay, you can look at Torquay and Woking, they both fared well, both sitting in first and second in that league this season. 
Is that something you can take um take good uh, good um a good attitude from, I guess. I can't think of the word right now, but they've done both very well both sides, haven't they? Well Torquay have bounced back. Um they had some difficulties uh, a year or so ago and they've been able to put that right. Uh, Woking have done very, very well. You know, they had a disappointment of going down, but there's no guarantee that they'll come back up even, you know, through the playoffs. But there's some big clubs there with some big budgets, financial um, backing behind them as well. So it's, uh, it won't be easy. And Torquay, you were, I guess, they're everyone's scalp in that league this season, and that would offer, I guess, Aldershot would be one of them clubs in that league, wouldn't they, when you go to places like Concord Rangers and mm -hmm. Truro City, even though they might not be in that league next year, but mm -hmm. that will be their big game for a lot of these clubs, won't it? Yeah, it will be, yeah, and obviously with our um, support base as well, fan base, you know, we travel well in numbers away from home, um, but the club itself has got a you know, history behind it, and, and clubs will want to beat uh, you know, ourselves. So. We're going to have to deal with all of that as well. Is there still the hope? Well, not. It's, it sounds horrible, but other clubs may drop out of this league and the position we're in right now, the season finished, we'd be the first ones to get that reprieve. And like you say, you don't want to rely on, on that, but mm. it is a possibility, even if it was a very small one. Yeah, yeah there's a chance, but yeah, we can't rely on that. The season has panned out the way it's panned out. Um, if that does happen, um, you know, it would be sad for whatever club that you know goes out of business or has difficulties. But uh, we'll take that opportunity. But um, we'll have to wait and see on that. Does that put an honest on on getting a victory on Saturday because there's two other teams right in it with us? Yeah, yeah, no, there's something to play for, uh, just in case. Um, but also we uh, there's pride as well, so. We have to perform, we have to finish the season um, on a high as such, you know, if we can do that, who knows what will happen during the summer. Okay, well thank you for your time Gary. Thank you.